The mini lop is a breed of domesticated rabbits that is fully recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association or the ARBA. It may look similar to the miniature loop, which is duly recognized by the British Rabbit Council or the BRC, however, there are differences between the two breeds. Don't be confused because, in the UK, the miniature lop is also called the mini lop. The mini lop is the same as some other small rabbit breeds found in the US and the UK. The ARBA describes the mini lop as a basketball with a head, and this may be because of its round and compact body appearance. The mini lop has a compact body and is one of the smaller rabbit types. An adult mini lop weighs from 3 to 6 pounds. It has defined muscles and well-rounded from head to toe. It has developed dewlaps and is easily seen in female mini lops. The neck is short, sometimes, there seems to be no neck at all. The large head sits closer to the body. As the name of this rabbit suggests, it has rounded, fuzzy ears that sit lopping on either side of the head. History of the breed The mini lop was discovered by Bob Hirschbach at a German national rabbit show held in Essen, Germany, in 1972. Back then, the breed was known as the Klein Witter. It was reported that the first mini lops were bred using the German Big Lop and the small rabbit breed known as the Chinchilla. The two distinct breeds came in white and agouti colors. German lops weighed 8 pounds and had a slender appearance with thick ears. Hirschbach was able to breed the first mini lops in the U. S and was done through breeding two agouti lops and a white female lop. The first babies had solid colors. The next generation had broken colors. And due to the breeding process, they were able to develop a high standard of mini lops. Hirschbach's mini lops was introduced at the American Rabbit Breeders Association convention in 1974. This event was held in Ventura, California. The result was that the breed should be downsized to create a more compact and attractive specimen. To do this, Hirschbach needed the help of other breeders, and he allowed them to use his mini lops. The last thing that the breeder did was to change the name from Klein Witters to the mini lop so that the breed can be more appealing. In 1977, the mini lop was now under a new person in charge, Herb Dyke, a new sponsor. In 1978, Hirschbach and Dyke created the first mini lop correspondence, and in just a year, this group had more than 500 members. These mini lop lovers contacted the ARBA because of their support for the breed. And finally, the mini lop became an official rabbit breed recognized by the ARBA. This milestone happened in 1980 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, at the U.S. National Rabbit Convention. After being recognized as a true rabbit breed, the Mini Lop Club of America was started. Accepted colors, showing mini lops as a pageant of colors. There are two categories of colors for this breed, solids and broken. Only the following colors are accepted by the ARBA, chinsilla lynx, black, white, ruby-eyed white, chestnut agouti, blue-eyed white, opal blue, lilac chocolate, orange, and tricolor. It's very impressive to see so many mini lops in a variety of spectacular colors. Temperament. The mini lop is categorized as a laid-back breed because it came from a lop breed. However, some say that the mini lop is a hyper breed because these are small and energetic bunnies. But actually, the truth is that the mini lop can be a combination of the two. Rabbits are also individuals, therefore, each one has its own unique personality. Making generalizations off the breed results in incorrect impressions. So when choosing a rabbit, consult a specialist or a rescue operator breeder or vet to decide about the animal's temperament. Also, take time to get to know a rabbit, observe it before you make your own conclusions about which rabbit is the best to pick. Mini lops, just like all rabbits, are prey animals. These are often wary of any sudden movements, possible threats, new situations, which can affect their safety. You should allow your pet mini lop to approach you according to its own terms. Position yourself on the floor near the rabbit and just let it come to you. Get a treat so you can quickly gain its trust. Once the rabbit is comfortable in its new surroundings, you will be able to see its true personality shine through. Once your mini lop is comfortable in its new home, you may now play with it and cuddle it as much as you can. Owners of mini lops say that this is the cuddliest rabbit and are usually called teddy bears because of their docile nature and affectionate nature. Children can pick a mini lop and play with it. This bunny won't fight back and will just allow a child to dress it up like a living doll. These bunnies also enjoy a good pat from their head to their tails plus will love to have their ears rubbed. Mini lops are very curious rabbits as well, so you must rabbit proof your home if you plan to take this out of its cage time and again. Use a portable pet fence to limit its roaming area. Close cabinets, seal off vents, and cover areas that it must not go. This way, your mini lop can remain safe and happy while roaming inside your home. If you plan to house more than one mini lop in an enclosure, the best type of housing should be an outdoor cage. 
This is perfectly okay with a mini lop and may even feel happy since it can socialize with other bunnies. Make sure that the bunnies have enough space. A large space prevents fighting and aggression. Also, a large space is a great place to play. Mini lops can chase each other from one area of the enclosure to another. Comparable breeds. The mini lop is often compared to the German lop and the American chinchilla rabbit, but it is completely different from the two. The German lop is a large rabbit that can weigh up to 8 pounds. These can live up to 12 years and have a commercial body shape. The German lop has an affectionate nature, is calm and docile, and thus will make good pets. This breed is recommended for people who live in small homes or apartments. Meanwhile, the American chinchilla rabbit is also a large rabbit that can weigh up to a whopping 12 pounds. It can live up to 8 years and has a commercial shape. It is also a gentle, sweet, and docile rabbit that's perfect for singles and seniors. Personality Just like any other animal, the mini lop has a variety of personalities, and these are generally friendly and playful. All rabbits may be taught any kind of trick and commands. These may be trained with the use of a clicker. Mini lops can show their owners that they are angry, and this is by stomping their hind foot. Caretakers and owners have noticed this behavior if they were unable to give their food on time. They may also show this behavior if they see strangers move into their areas. They will stomp their feet to show their status. Taking care of mini lop. Mini lops need the same care as other breeds. This only means giving your pet the ideal diet, companionship, and housing. The main food is hay, and it is the bulk of their diet. There are some commercially made pellets designed specifically for rabbits with the needed vitamins and minerals for good health and growth. Vegetables and fruit can also be given. Another thing that rabbit owners should consider is that they are provided with unlimited fresh water and hay inside their enclosures. Hay is needed to keep their digestive tract healthy and regular. Mini lops can be pets for both children and adults, but their owners must monitor their pets closely for any possible signs of illness. Also, interacting with their pets every day is a must. An owner who spends time with his pet rabbit is more likely to earn its trust and confidence. Those who just want to place them inside a cage and ignores them won't be able to develop their pet's true potential. Most rabbits have lived their lives to the full after interacting closely with their owners. Spaying or neutering. Spaying or neutering is needed to control the population of rabbits. If this is not done, rabbit numbers can easily become out of control. This should be done while your rabbits are still at a young age. Most veterinarians wait until their pets reach six months of age to observe the safest practice on spaying. Bucks can generally be neutered at a younger age, even as young as three months to make them less aggressive. These are not aggressive by nature. Neutering bucks is not really needed. Consult your vet to get the best advice regarding spaying or neutering your mini lob. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.